Hi, it is Marie and I am back again today with another video. So I found that growing up with the cerebral palsy, people were really hesitant to hurt my feelings. Um, and because of that, they would often sugarcoat my achievements or lack of, or um, they would want to be my friend, um, but it would be more of a passive acceptance. Like, oh, we don't want to feel like we're bigots, we don't want to be called the bigot. Um, so look at this disabled girl with cerebral palsy, you know, we'll say hi to her in the hallways, we'll make this flaccid small talk with her, we'll be friends, but we won't really be friends because it's not genuine. Um, and, and for me as a person, I've, I've grown really skillful at picking out what is genuine and what is not. Um, you know, I can tell. I can tell if you're trying to genuinely be my friend, and um, if you're just, you know, trying to do it for your own self-aggrandizement. Um, you know, I can tell if if I really sucked at something, and you're just saying, "Oh, you did such a good job," um, to make me feel better. And um, you know, I think I think that, like, for me, for me. I just I get so frustrated with that because I've I've tried to be treated like everyone else all my life. You know, I realize that yes, there are times where I'll need accommodations and that yes, I'm not like everyone else. I don't have the same skills. I don't do everything like everyone else. But honestly, in the realm of of treatment of of telling me what I did wrong and telling me what I did right, at least please tell me the truth. At least be honest with me. Um, and I, because I really value truth and honesty um, and integrity uh, because, because people haven't been truthful with me. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell people they did awesome. You know, I'm going to say what I believe, and if it's not truthful to myself, then I'm not going to say it. And that's, that's something that I live by as a consequence of people basically lying to me um, a lot of my life. Um, now, I don't, I don't want to make it this big dramatic thing, um, because, you know, it's, they're little white lies to make people feel better. Um, but I think especially when I was younger, it gave me an inflated sense of what I could, um, what I could do, um, and honestly, if people were just straightforward and honest with me back then, I, I always think maybe I could have, could have had some more practice, maybe I could have recognized what I needed to work on, and I would be more successful at that activity in the future. Um, but no, it, it really frustrates me that people can't be honest with me because they look at me as something so fragile um, that needs needs to be kept innocent and 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 you know feel good um, because I think I think you really you really uh, pick people out with disabilities you really push them aside when you do that um, like we're gonna have a different set of expectations for you um, because you're different um, and, and you can't do everything like everyone else um, but honestly I stick to it that if if we, if we treat people with disabilities like everyone else um, maybe they could be like everyone else just with different challenges they have to overcome and I think if we're honest about what challenges they have to overcome, maybe they have a better chance of actually overcoming those challenges. I don't know. It's just something I've, I've realized from my life. Um, it, it, you know, life is a struggle. There's, it's, there's meant to be suffering in life. Um, no one said life has to be without its challenges. And I just feel like... Um, when people try to alleviate and eliminate challenges from um, people who have disabilities, they're not doing them a service at all. 
even though they might be, feel like they're doing them a service, which I completely understand because people want to want to feel like they're doing a good thing. Um, but I think we have to be honest with ourselves at like what those those trying to eliminate the challenges are actually doing to people with disabilities. And I know for me, um, it didn't give me enough of the skills I need to be successful even now. Um, it left me dependent on a lot of things and a lot of people. Um, and I just feel like if I was given the opportunity to be like everyone else and with everyone else, except with my challenges, because I think you can be like everyone else and and be with everyone else and have your challenges, but still be like them, um, then maybe, maybe, you know, I would be, I wouldn't be so far behind as my other peers. Um, I don't know, this, I, 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 don't, I had no clue where this is going. Um, but I think I'm gonna end it there because it's getting like six minutes long, okay? Um, so if you have a comment, a suggestion, an opinion, a thought, uh, please leave it in the comment box down below. Uh, not comment box, but leave it in the comments down below and I will get back to you. And uh, I will leave it there and I will say goodbye.